Mm. Morning, everyone. Just having a chocolate croissant. It's that kind of day. Day 89. Again, quiet on the alerts from... I think there's a few more doing it now. So, you know, share the load, as the hobbits would say. Exciting news this morning. Uh, Sarah's got a co coronavirus test through the post. Ooh. So I might get some live testing on later. Um, but my mum, who's in our bubble, is just taking Charlotte out to the beach for the day. And um, I'm going to get on with a bit of shopping. I've got to do for a couple of my regulars. So best get on. But good news, Jack Perdo is doing a quiz tonight, so get on that. Right, I'll see you later. There we go. Okay. It is midday, and it's a gorgeous day. I've had zero alerts. None. None at all, uh, which is really strange. Um, but we're carrying on, because we've got some shopping to do anyway for some, some of my regulars, as I call them. Um, we are just off to Winthorpe, and then got to sort out a bee problem. Yeah, that's right, a bee problem. <laughs> that's the kind of thing I do nowadays. Um, and then back home, and it's looking like maybe home for the whole day. I might actually have a day where I can just sit in the garden, you never know. A few beers, you know the drill. So, um, yeah, it's been very quiet. So yeah, Morrison's, uh, just for one item, basically. Um, it's been very cross. Not even, there's no, way to go in and out anymore. It's letting people do what the hell they want now. Oh, it, this is, the whole thing's making me very cross today. And there's a very abusive man outside, which made me even crosser. Anyway, last one. Please stop now, I can't know where they are. <laughs> you bought past them. So, my dinner, I'm having a hot hazelnut sandwich in lovely normal white bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Hey, uh, local butchers. We are making some cornflake tarts. Um, that's right, yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm using this, but at least I bought the not ready rolled stuff. At least I'm gonna roll it, and that's something. But yeah, I'm sure Sarah will do updates as we forge our way through this culinary journey. Can I have the dog? Sarah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm just in the garden so it takes a while because I'm useless. So we are just getting the arty farty ales ready for Bournemouth's Beer Club tonight. And um, we are going to start off by choosing my quirky beer. So roll the dice. This is the red dice. And I thought I'd do it from this angle today because it's just nice to do things differently sometimes. Give the red dice a roll. One, two, three, four, five. What, number two. two. So that means I'll be drinking a cream ale with green tea infused nonsense <laughs> looking forward to that one actually so yeah cream ale with a green tea infused right so that's the quirky ales right you got your green dice yeah right give that a roll this is for the stouts Three. and that means i'll be drinking no, a raspberry isn't. and vanilla no, spritz no. no it is because that's one two three four five six i've only got three of them okay. it is it's uh, a raspberry and vanilla spring stout and for my final one, you're going to need two dice, Charlotte. Why? Because there's 12 of them. Okay. So that those two will be fine, yeah. Yeah. Those Give them a quick roll. Okay, oh, okay. It's good doing it from this angle, because you can't see anything that's going on, and I can just pick whatever beer I want. What okay. is it? Four. Four. And that means I'll be drinking a jute from Salt Brewery. I think I've had that one before, but it's really nice, so that doesn't matter. So that's really nice. So I've got a jute, I've got a vanilla and spring stout, and I have got a creamy ale with a green tea infusement. And that beeping means time to get another cake out of the oven. I can do it on my own. There, yeah, I did that one on my own. So I can do it. I just failed the first time. This one looks much better. So here's a slightly blue one as it's the weekend. What do you call a kinky dinosaur? Do you have a sore ass? So, hello. Day 89 done. So not as um, memorable as yesterday. Very quiet on the alert front. Only three today. That's like a... Or four, sorry. That's like a record for me in terms of little amount of um, alerts. But uh, we are halfway through Bomber's Beer Club and it's going well. Um, it's been a strange day. It's been warm, very warm. We made those um, 
cornflake tarts, didn't we, Charlotte? That was fun. To, yeah, do you want to call the rest of I will do in a minute. I can do it. Overly concerned about my beer consumption, I my child. She also, she's pushing beer on me. She's like some <laughs> some feeder, but a drinker, I guess I'd call it. Um, it yeah, so it's been a weird old day. Yeah, thank you. After the drama of yesterday in the ambulance, it's um, anything was going to be lower compared to that. Um, which reminds me, I must ring that lady tomorrow and see how she is. But it's another day done. It's day 89, 90 tomorrow. We are nearing the end of lockdown by the looks of it, but it's been a strange time. But you know what? What reminded me today, because Sarah went on a walk with a couple of mates, it's also been quite a lovely time because we've made connections with people we've maybe not seen for a long time. Um, and... You know, people are closer than they've been for a long time. So, you know, it's had some good things as well connected to it, as well as all the horribleness. So anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm waffling because I've had a few beers. But I love you. I'll see you all tomorrow for day 90. And um, good evening. Have a good one. Stay safe. Love each other.